So this is the one that we have currently. My sister-in-law gave it to us when Venus was a puppy. So it have already six years with us and it have worked pretty good. So we want something bigger and we also want something to put the poop bags to have it easy to put them in the leash when we are gonna go out and walk them. So we are trying to replace this. The first step is to get a straight edge. We are using a Makita track saw to cut all the edge. This wood is the leftover of another project that we did in the past when we did Venus um, bed. I will put the links to that video in the description down below. Like that you can see other projects that we have done and from where the wood come from. This is a three quarter of an inch walnut wood. We got it in shell lumber here in Miami, but I'm pretty sure walnut is pretty common and you could get it in any local hardware store. These small pieces are to do a shelving. We are following more or less, not exactly the same, a video that Caitlin and Evan, I think is their name. I will put uh, in the link down below the video that I'm talking about. They did a shell for coats. We're not using it for coats, we're gonna use it for the dog leash, but we're more or less using theirs as an inspiration. And they did shell to put in a uh, mail. We are putting shell to put the poop bags. The pieces of walnut that we have, they're a little thinner than what we really want. So we're gonna be using the dominoes to stack them together and make them the length that we need. These ones are from Festo, and I don't know if there's other brands that do dominoes like this. But anyway, I will put in the description down below the machine that we use. Now he's marking where we are gonna be putting the actual dominoes, like that he have the same spot in both pieces of the wood. The domino machine I know is a little in the expensive side. You could also do this with other things like the waffle thingy. My husband told me that the waffle thingy is named... What was it? It's a biscuit joiner. And, but they also could do it with dowels and in other ways. We choose to do it with dominoes because we already have the machine, so that's why we do it. But I know this machine is a little bit in the pricey side, but have in mind that you could do it other ways. We are dry fitting the dominoes to make sure they line up pretty well before we put the glue. Now we're doing the same with the big piece and that triangle thing he said that he made it so he knows which is the front because in the past he didn't mark which side was the front and then they were not lining it up correctly in other projects that we did. Most of our tools are from Festo but I know since the pandemic started Festo have a lot of things in back order. So I don't know if you could find the same machines from another brand that is made in America. Festival is made in Germany and we ordered something for Christmas and we're still waiting for it. So if you don't have these uh, specific tools, it may be take a while to get to you. This is the wood glue that we are using. We have used the same wood glue in other projects and we know it worked really well. I saw some people use a darker one when they're using walnut, but we have always used this one and it worked perfectly fine. Put a 
lot of glue so like that every piece of the wood is in contact with the glue the glue it make the bond really strong in my husband said that is more strong than even nails so we put plenty plenty of glue you could smear it with your finger or if you have one a brush you could do it with a brush they also have like silicone brushes clean as much as you can of all those drips of glue like that it will be a lot easier the next time when you're gonna remove the glue there's always gonna be a little bit that you have to scrape out but if you clean it with a wet rag or something it will be a lot easier and less work later on here we are using some clamps to make the wood stick together and we're gonna wait at least an hour Now we're gonna start cutting the final dimensions. We are using here again our track saw from Makita. This would have a little bit of a knot in the bottom and we wanna make sure we cut that out. You also have like a small imperfection there, you can see it. So we are marking to cut all that off. But if you like the imperfection, you could leave it there. Some people fill it up with epoxy. Some people use it as an accent. That is completely up to you. We want it out. For the next part we are using our sliding miter saw, this one is from Festo and this one is pretty cool because you have a laser like that your cut is very precise. I also like the little clumpy thingy they have, like that I feel it's more secure because you have the wood, it's not moving around. It's also a safety feature like that you don't have to put your hand and hold the wood in place, you have the little thingy there, pretty sure you have a name. Probably a clam. I will have all the measurements in the description down below. He used the metric system, but I will also put them in Imperial. Now with our router, we are doing a small bevel in the bottom and on the side to give it more of a finished look. And with a scraper, we are taking all the residues of the glue. Also, if fit a little bit like a planer, if there's any place where the wood it wasn't completely flat with each other, it worked a little bit like a planer. This is the first round of sanding and we started with an 80 grit and then we move on to 120 and we finish with 150. Our sander is from Makira 
We ordered one from Festo for Christmas that was supposed to be Jay's Christmas present and tomorrow is June and we still haven't received the thunder so we are using our old faithful Makita that has been with us for ages he said he had the thunder for 15 years so I think Makita is pretty good here we are measuring where we want our shelves Before we start doing any hauls, we are dry fitting everything to make sure we like where we're gonna put the stuff and that it look like we want it. Here we are using a Festool drill to make the holes to put the screws to put the shelves. We got this in Etsy, they were advertised as towel hooks, but they are towels of wood and brass. Now here we are going to put the shelf first with glue. We are using our wood glue and we are also using a super glue that it dry pretty fast to hold it in place with an activator spray. Have in mind that this glue, it dries super super fast we mess up once and we have to take it off sand it down and do it again because it dries super fast this is the glue we use the star bun in medium and when you say instant glue it's really instant I believe it's like 8 seconds or something like that it dries super fast If you don't use the spray applicator, it's like 30 seconds, and if you use the applicator, it's like 8 seconds. And we tested it, and it was true. Now with the Festool drill, we are drilling into the shelves to put our screws. Something that I like about these towel hooks is they have like a little pointy thing in the back so they stay in place while you drill them. The screws that came with the thingies, they were too long so we have to cut them with some pliers. Now to clean it all, we are going to be using mineral spirit. You don't want to have dust when you're putting the finish like that. You don't see all those particles on top of the wood. So we use mineral spirit instead of like using water because water makes the wood puff. And for finish, we're using simple finish. This is the same finish that we use for the dog's bed and the dog's water bowl. It's pretty safe for dogs and it doesn't have a lot of fumes. Plus, we're doing this outside and we waited 24 hours before putting it in the wall.
Now we are using a laser and that thing is for the vacuum of Festo to do the holes and all the dust goes directly to the vacuum. We use this little hooky thingy to okay. put the hooks. And that's it, it's in the wall. I love it, it looks so beautiful. I love the color. I love walnut, it's one of my favorite woods. And I love the contrast with the black and the brass. I think it looks super beautiful. It's a hundred percent an upgrade of what we had before. We finish it up with a little bit of a planter that's from Target. And the poop bags. For the poop bags, you can leave it like this. But in the future, I think I'm gonna make something to put the poop bags. Because I want them to have like a shelf in, on top of the shelf. But I have to think about it, how I want to make that. So we're still in progress. And now it's time to test it with Venus and Apollo. Time to take them for a little walkie walkie. Well, that was it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.